file storage service provides several methods for ensuring that your data remains secure. In this session, we will discuss the four main layers from the top down. On the top, the OCI policy layer that uses policy to control what users can do within OCI, such as creating instances, a VCN and its security rules, mount targets, and file systems. Then there is the network security layer that controls which instance IP address or a group of IP addresses can connect to a file system. This layer uses VCN security list rules to allow or deny traffic to a mount targets and therefore access to any associated file systems. However, this is on an all or nothing basis. The client either can or cannot access the mount target and therefore all the file systems that are associated with that mount target. Third, we have NFS export options that bridge the network security layer and the NFS version 3 Unix security layer. Export options enable you to specify more control on a per file system basis. Export options allow you to set permissions on your file systems in order to limit root user access, specify connection from a privileged port, or completely deny access to some clients based on either a single IP address or a group of IP addresses for better security control in multi-tenant environments. Moreover, with NFS export option, you can set policies for read-only, read-write, or root squash for your file system. The last layer is NFS version 3 Unix security that controls what operation a given Unix user can do with the files and directories in the file system, such as opening a file or reading or writing or creating a file in a directory. Every request for file access is authorized by verifying the client's Unix user ID and group ID against the file ownership. Please be aware that users in Unix aren't the same as users in OCI. They are not linked or associated in any way. The OCI policy layer doesn't govern anything that happens inside the file system. The Unix security layer does. Conversely, the Unix security layer doesn't govern creating file system or mount targets in OCI. To read more about these layers, please visit the resources below.